Welcome to the Learning and Development Channel, where you can learn, lead, and make a difference. Okay. So, for this morning, I, I would like to present how to prevent computer viruses. So, when it comes to prevention, preventions, there are uh, plenty of ways how are we going to prevent computer viruses. But I would like to share lang some uh, of most commonly used uh, prevention from viruses. Okay? So, so first is to prevent computer, uh, how to prevent computer viruses. One of the ways to prevent as well as uh, prevent, uh, to implement uh, cyber hygiene so we have to use strong passwords. It's not particularly sa computer virus, ano. So this is part, uh, securing our computer, okay, from theft, as well as uh, preventing also from computer viruses. So one of the method in cyber hygiene, when we talk about cyber hygiene, this is a, a method or mechanism wherein we're going to secure the computers as well as we're going to secure our uh, uh, confident or confidential information. So first is we have to use strong passwords. So I have here the link uh, to, to use a strong password. So I will, I will click this one. Okay, so this is the, the, the page wherein we can check how strong our password is. So this is the site, this one. Okay, so later on, I will share the slide and I will give this to Ma'am uh, Alili Lagumbay so that Ma'am will share the slides to, to all of you. Okay. So let me go back. So this is the site, okay? So if you want to secure your password, you can use this one. Okay, this is a tool. So here, there are information on how to secure passwords. Okay, so as a password should be 16 characters or more. Okay, a, pas a password should include a combination of letters, numbers, and characters. Okay, these are some of the guides on how we can secure or, or to create a, a strong password. Because basically, when we set passwords for our email or even in our laptop or in our desktop computers, we basically use the common like birthdays, diba? birthdays, even we apply this into uh, sa mga pin codes natin, diba? We used to apply this one, okay? So this one is a tool to, to create a strong password. According to the instruction, should be 16 characters or more. So if your password, uh, say for example, less than 16, therefore your password is not, is not that strong, okay? So if for example, I have your EBSO, so you will notice uh, when when I when I enter some keys on the keyboard, you will notice that there is a a an indication that if I have a uh, four characters of password, meaning this password can be hacked in eleven microseconds. Okay. So, but when I increase the number of characters, so you will notice. So, for this number of characters, this password can be cracked in one day. Okay? Because basically, when we talk about cracking passwords, uh, some, they use computers to crack passwords. Okay? It's, not, it's no longer that a person is cracking your password, but it is already a computer, a ready-made program. Okay, but when I included some 
uh, special characters, you will notice there is an increase, okay, in terms of number of years, okay, in terms of number of years that your uh, password will be cracked, okay? So, but when you apply this one, when you apply 16 characters or more, so it will uh, give you, a, for example, something like that. Okay, so I have uh, more than, I mean, 16 characters. So it will give 200 billion years for a computer to crack your password. Okay, so it's so it's only giving you the idea. Okay, for 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 this time, say for example, you have your your own password right now, and then later on feel free to test this one and then feel free to check your password now and then you will notice that if it is crackable or not. Okay, because 200 billion years is, we don't know. Kung buhi pa ba kita ito? Diba? Oo. But uh, increasing the number of characters for your password is you're also creating a strong password. Okay, so I hope this will be a, a good information and then I hope you will also apply this one. You make it a habit to create a strong password. Okay, for more details, feel free to visit this site as well as follow the procedure on how to create uh, or how to secure passwords. Okay, so... Let me go back to my screen. The next uh, way to prevent or to be able to implement cyber hygiene is we have the keep your devices, browsers, and applications updated. Okay? So if, we're, if our devices, browsers, or applications are up to date, so meaning we are securing our computer as well as we are securing the information inside our computer. Okay? So keep your devices. Okay, I'm talking about uh, the firmware that is being installed in the devices and then your browsers. So if uh, we have uh, Edge, we have... A Mozilla Firefox. So always update your browsers as well as the application. I'm talking about the operating system. I'm talking about uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, or if, if somebody's using a lower version, or you can use Windows 10, and then there is a new uh, Windows, which is Windows 11. Okay? So feel free to always update your devices, browsers, and up to be, up, uh, applications. Okay, these are uh, ways to prevent, okay, your devices and computer from viruses. Okay, another one is uh, every time I install a, a, an operating system and I use a browser, I always install a pop-up blocker, okay? A pop-up blocker is, it is an uh, unnecessary window or page that it will uh, automatically pop up every time you visit a site, okay? I know you, you notice this one, but every time you open a website, there is uh, an ads an advertisement in a form of page that will it will automatically pop up okay and sometimes this is a mechanism for phishing okay for getting your personal information especially that it will pop up like uh, you win congratulations you win or you hit the jackpot something like that okay so to to avoid these unnecessary ads in displaying while you are browsing, okay, 
try to install pop-up blocker. So in my case, I am using the Internet Explorer, also known uh, uh, as the Microsoft Edge. Okay? So let me demonstrate to you on how are you going to install the pop-up blocker. So in my case, because I have already installed that one, so uh, click this one, this portion here, okay, on the uh, top corner. Okay, these three dots. Okay, feel free to click this one and then click this extensions. Okay, again, on the browser, on the uh, upper right corner, these three dots, click this one, and then select extensions, click that one, and then you click this, uh, you will notice I have already an installed extensions. Okay, so I have here the add block. Okay, if you don't have add block yet, you click this again. I will. I will go back. Click this one. Click extensions, and then click this get extensions for Microsoft Edge. Okay. So this is the page. Okay. I will. I will share the link to the screen. Okay. As well as kanina nga link. I will share it to the screen. Okay. This, okay, this is the, the page wherein we can search like ad block. Okay, the ad block. Okay. So the ad block, this is so in installing also try to check the number of stars. Okay. As well as the number of uh, the number of feedback, okay? Just like you are installing an app to your, to your cell phone sa Google Play, okay? Or sa uh, App Store, okay? So here I use Adblock. I installed it. So I have here now the Adblock. So, so this is the icon if I have an Adblock, okay? So this will automatically block unnecessary ads. Okay? So this is a simple uh, mechanism. Okay? Wherein you are trying to secure while you uh, secure your information, secure while you are browsing the internet. Okay? Again, ha, if you have any question, so feel free to ask question, ha? You can always interrupt me. Okay, the next mitigation or prevention is stay away from pirated software. Okay, so it is very common to, to stay away from pirated software. Okay, but uh, in case to case basis, in uh, basically, when we talk about original software and authentic software, it costs a lot of money. Okay, sometimes uh, some of the community, they prefer to, to have a pirated software or a cracked software. Okay, so when installing also a pirated software, is uh, see to it that you are oriented of the consequences and you know the 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 measures on how to set uh, safety measures while you are installing pirated software but it is okay it is uh suggested or advised to stay away from pri uh, pirated software okay another one is avoid a questionable website. Okay? Questionable websites. So yesterday, uh, Engineer Dindo Obedientia uh, demonstrated to you how to check if the website is legit or not. 
or if the website is questionable or not. Okay, so I'd like to go back. So this is if this is the page or this is the website to check the if the browser is legit or secure. Uh, there is okay. Okay, so you can click this uh, lock icon here. Uh, you can click that one, and will it will give you the information. Say, for example, here, the connection is secure, okay? And then it will give you the information of this website, okay? Another indication is there is an HTTPS, okay? Say URL. There is an HTTPS, and in, in other browser, there is a lock indicator that the browser is secure or safe okay another indication is if this https is green the text color is green okay so if you access a website always check okay so for example youtube okay always click this lock icon okay and then check the information of this website. Okay? So that is one way to, uh, to check if our if the password is legit or not, or if a pass, I mean if the browser is questionable or not. Okay? Another ways to prevent uh, computer viruses as well as protect your uh, devices or your information is disable autoplay on USB flash drives because this is very common. Okay? Especially during face-to-face -face, uh, training. Okay? Since this is virtual. During face-to-face -face training, it is advised that you implement BYOD, okay? You implement BYOD to secure your uh, information to prevent from computer viruses because one of the most commonly used medium to transmit viruses from computer to another is through USB flash drives, okay? So that's why some of the face-to-face -face, uh, training or, uh, yes, training. So they implement BYOD. BYOD means bring your own device. Okay? To avoid sharing, diba? like passing uh, using USB flash drives by copying information. Okay? So that's why they implement this one, the BYOD. Okay? So one way to disable... First one is to disable autoplay on USB flash drives. That's the diba you will notice that your files are hidden. Diba? This was raised yesterday. That why is it that all of the files are hidden and only folders are being shown if we try to access the USB flash drives? So, so it is an indication that your USB flash drive. There is a virus or this, there is a worm in it. Okay? So your original files are set to hidden. Okay? Nakahide na yung mga files mo. Okay? So to avoid this one, uh, one way to prevent is to disable autoplay. So to, to disable autoplay in our computer, in our laptop is, let me demonstrate. <clears throat> Uh, you can click the start menu. Okay? The start menu. And then click settings. This one. Okay, okay again. Huh? Click, your, click the start menu. And select settings. This one. And then you type in autoplay. Okay, 
and then select auto play settings okay and then disable this one use auto play for all media devices you disable this one you click this and then off okay when you set that to off meaning all usb including cds that will be inserted sa usb port it will not automatically execute okay that is one way to prevent from this viruses okay so again let me uh, redemonstrate you click the start menu and then click the gear icon or the settings and you type in you type auto play and you select auto play settings and then you switch off use auto play for all media devices okay so that's it so every time you insert a usb flash drives in your computer then the auto play function will not execute so if you want to open your files from usb flash drives so you will use now the uh, windows explorer okay and then when you open the windows explorer see to it that when you open a windows explorer okay so don't double click okay you can see my windows explorer right now diba do not double click here okay don't double click especially if you are opening a usb flash drives so you click or you open your drive using this one here okay do not double click because when you do do double click it will activate okay a hidden if there is a hidden script inside that a flash drive okay do not double click here but you click sa side sa left side of the panel especially if it is a usb flash drives okay so that's it the next how to prevent is browse the web in private using incognito mode okay this is one way to secure your identity okay your an anonymity as well as secure all the informations because basically when we use the computer or the laptop sometimes we forgot to log out diba? especially facebook especially our email Sometimes we tend to forget to log out or to sign out, diba? especially when we are accessing our the browser. So to, to mitigate that one, we can use the incognito mode. Okay? Incognito mode. So if we are using Windows, Linux, or Chrome, okay, or Edge, this is the shortcut to open a browser in an incognito mode. So the in incognito mode is uh, you, your identity is safe, okay? So meaning uh, if there are eavesdropper or if there are observer, okay, into your browser, if you use incognito mode, meaning you are hidden, Okay, even your, uh, even your, every time you close the browser, it will automatically log out. Okay, your Facebook, it will automatically log out your email. Okay, if you forgot to log out or sign out. Okay, so to, to use incognito mode, so let me open again this one. So this, 
This is an example of browsing, ano? But this is not in an incognito mode. Okay? So to do that one, I will follow the instruction like you press control simultaneously, ha? you press control and then shift and then N. Okay? So control, shift, N. Okay, let me execute. Control, shift, N. Then this is now. So this is there is an indicator in private browsing. Okay, there are information all about in private browsing. Okay, so that's it. Again, let me try that one. Control Shift N. Okay, again, close. If you don't know Control Shift N, you can always click on the upper right corner, the three dots. Click and then select new in private window. And then this will open to an incognito mode browsing. Okay? So, say for example, in the original browsing, okay, you are na nakalag in ka na. Okay? See, for example, I will open my email. Okay. So, right now, my email is already open. Okay. And then I will click Control Shift N. Okay. I am now in the incognito mode. And then I will access again my email. Try to observe. Okay, try to observe the difference between regular browsing, okay, and then if you are an, in an incognito mode. Okay, this one is a normal browsing. Another one, this is in an incognito mode. So it will ask me to sign in again. So meaning you can open two emails at the same time. Okay, you can to you can open two Facebook account at the same time. You have your normal browsing, you have your incognito mode. Okay, that's the secret on how are you going to open two emails at the same time and then open face two Facebook account at the same time. The one is in a regular browsing mode, the other one is using an incognito mode. Okay? Okay, let me reiterate again that when you are in the incognito mode, meaning you are in a private browsing, you are hidden, your information, and then when you close the browser, it will automatically uh, log out. Okay? So, are you still there? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, I will. I will uh, uh, stop my video. Uh, no? I will yes, just sir. stop my video okay? because the internet connection. Huh? I will stop my video. Just focus lang sa presentation. Okay. So, so that is the shortcut if you use incognito mode sa Chrome sa Edge. Okay. Another one is. If you are using a Mozilla Firefox browser, the shortcut to incognito or in, in private browsing is Control Shift P. Okay, that is for Mozilla Firefox. Okay, Control Shift P. While for Chrome, for, for Microsoft Edge, Control Shift N. Okay. And if you are using naman a Mac OS, okay, if you are using the Safari browser, okay, like the Mac OS, yung mga Apple, you can simply press this one. The command, Shift N. Okay? 
command shift n okay that is for the for those apple you who are using apple computers okay so these are some on how to implement cyber hygiene as well as prevent from computer virus as well as secure our important information while we are browsing the web okay so i think there is a question uh, uh there is a question yesterday is what will happen if there is a virus na uh, naka penetrate into your computers okay one way to to mitigate that one is you can simply use the system restore okay the system restore diba parang sa cellphone lang that you can uh, reset to factory reset diba that is another mechanism similar to system restore if it happens that your computer has already a virus okay but it's not a guarantee that the virus is already removed this is because this is not a cell phone we are talking about desktop or laptop okay because one way to to do that one is to totally format your operating system and then right after you format your operating system before you open your hard drive uh, you check first you 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 scan first your hard drive for using the antivirus okay that is one way to to mitigate okay like and subscribe to the L and D channel on YouTube using the link youtube.com slash at learn to lead channel. For more information, visit our NAAP Agent 8 official Facebook page at facebook.com slash NAAPRO8E.